Well, hey, huge tube. It's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today I just wanted to do a quick video on, and this video is for all the worry warts out there on bullets touching and piled up. All the guys that like to stack their bullets. Well, as you know, I'm always just redoing and uh, experimenting with different things. And uh, I was going to experiment by using a big old bucket like this. And I thought that I would just do it right here for you guys for the first time. I've never tried this. And uh, one thing that I've noticed is uh, I, can, I can do extremely large batches of powder coating. Um, like even 20 pounds at a time if I want. I've literally filled this whole bowl up with bullets and just rolled the bowl around and coated them and got excellent results as a matter of fact uh, almost flawless in a way i guess i should say so i just thought i'd do a quick video and i'm going to experiment using this bucket right here um, most of the buckets that we use people like to use the number five bowl i have powder in this so I'm not going to turn it upside down uh, I have used a number two bowl like this before this one here is a number two so I'm thinking that my results should be okay this is a number two recycling number there so I'm going to just take this this powder right here is a combination of stuff that I've just thrown together trying to use up it's blue green white um, powder by the pound, Eastwood, Ford Light Blue, Eastwood Green, and uh, I believe there's Harbor Freight, a little tiny bit of Harbor Freight Red in here, and there's a little bit of Harbor Freight White in here. So, I mean, this is really a hodgepodge, okay? And I've not really seen a difference either way, to be honest with you, for me personally. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all of this powder in here. I don't even have a set quantity except for I like a lot in there to coat. So I just poured all of that into this tub that I've never used before. One of the things that I, one of the reasons I wanted to try this tub here is because it's big and I like to do big batches um, and uh, it has a lid that screws on tight so I don't leak any powder. So now um, I'm just trying with uh, with this many bullets right here. I don't know how many pounds it is, but it's a 24 ounce cottage cheese uh, container. It's probably 15 pounds, maybe. Um, it could be 20 pounds. I'm not sure. It's pretty heavy. I'm just going to put them all in there. Just like that. And... Um, and we're gonna shake them up, screen them out like we always do. And I'm gonna throw it in the oven. And I'm gonna let you take a look at it. Uh, I got this, make sure this lid screws on straight. Looks pretty good. I'm hoping it don't leak on me. So now what I'm gonna do, that's a lot of bullets. So it's kind of hard to hold up and do the swirl with. So I'm just gonna do the roll. I'm just gonna roll it around. I don't know. I hadn't even tried this, like I said, but I'm gonna do it right here for you guys. Maybe I'll do this with it. Maybe that'll work. I'm gonna do it like this. Yep, that seems to work. That's pretty heavy. I'm gonna do this. We'll see how it works. I'm gonna make a lot of noise. <laughs> so it'll be in real time, you get to see it, the whole thing, as far as the uh, coating goes here. And I'm just gonna roll it around like this. Let's see what that does. A number two jug. Somebody give me this jug. And I was gonna put, I was just gonna fill it with bullets. So 
you get the idea. It don't do a, it don't do a swirl real well. We'll see if that's enough. We'll see if that coats. I got my screen and my cardboard right here. like that and then I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the uh, Elvis shake like that get them shake off good now you can't leave any on there and that's it whole big old screen load and uh, that's going right in the oven and I'll let you see them when they come out all right so I pulled them out of the oven um, and uh, now a lot of you guys have seen me do my low heat method, okay? Um, for most of my bullets, I just, uh, since I've done that experiment with the low heat method, um, for most of my bullets that I don't have a high concern for very hard bullets, I do a little improvise and I put, uh, I put my bullets in for, 275 for 15 minutes all right that's the majority of my bullets get that and um, uh, what it does by decreasing the heat is it allows my bullets to break apart a lot easier I'm just throwing that out there these are things that I've learned over uh, a little bit of time you know since I've been experimenting with different temperatures um, so now what I've done is I've let these cool off. They're just barely lukewarm, barely, okay? Um, I like them to cool off just regularly like this. I don't throw them in water or anything. And um, so you see how they're piled, piled together here. I made sure I didn't upset them at all because I wanted you to see exactly how this works. Okay, see how they're stuck? Some of them are falling off. Now then uh, you'll you'll see, watch I'll break them. See how they break, like that. And I'm just gonna dump them in. See how some of them are stuck to the mesh right there. And this was a, is what a lot of people are worried about. So I'm just gonna show you something. Now I've done this outside here just so I can have sunlight and wouldn't you know it, there's shade exactly on this spot. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this off right here, break it off. And I'll just show you the underside of it. All right, that's the underside of it that I just broke off. All right, that's the whole bullet. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna break this one off right there. That's the underside of it that I just broke off. Right there, and I'm gonna do um, right here. I broke that one off from those other ones there and uh, let's see uh, I'll break this one those two all right that's the bottom that I just broke right there did you see that that's that mix of colors that I did in bulk just now I'm gonna break these two apart right there But these that I'm showing you is really the exception to the rule, all right? I just I pulled that one off right there. These that I'm showing you are the exception. Most of them have broke that one off right there. And uh, the way that I'm breaking these off of there is not really doing it any favors. Um, really, you're better just to uh, you know, smack them off like that. 
photos. I don't, I'm not sure if you see anything at all. Pull that one off right there. Boom. There you go. So I don't think it does it any favors at all by doing that. Now, the, you, a lot of you guys have seen me do this before, throw them in a box like this, and I just tape the seams up, duct tape so I don't get bullets stuck under there. And the reason I do that is uh, it, it makes it real easy to break it apart. They break them apart nicely without damaging the bullets. Uh, ultimately what's happening is I'm putting them all to one side like that. See, they're all to one side. And then I just let the weight of each bullet kind of crush itself by doing this. Like that, see? They're all standing the box up on the corner here. And that's it. I probably shook it more than I needed to to break all of those apart. Now, see this? I just did a batch of them a while ago, and uh, out of the whole tub, I had two bullets that was just barely stuck together when I was sizing them. So now, I'm going to let you see. That's what they look like. All right. So you're just getting a... Uh, you know, the, the, an overall sample instead of one bullet at a time. So I, I see one little flaw on that one. I'm just showing it to you. All right. But I mean, these are uh, just nearly perfect. And, uh, you know, doing them in huge batches. Um, I found, you know, it almost seems like the bigger the batch, the better the, the coating. And uh, this was a, a batch that I'd done before that one. And I didn't do it inside of this big tub. I just filled this up and did it the regular way. But I like this. This seems neater and I can do the little tumble a little easier. A lot of you have complained that you can't shake like me. <laughs> you do the swirl and everything goes jiggling, I guess. I don't know what y'all talking about. But uh, anyway, I just thought I would show you again. Um, this is kind of the way that I'm, I've been doing it for quite a while now, just like this. And just big batches. And I just wanted you to see that. So uh, for all of you, worry warts out there um there you go and uh, i just wanted you to kind of see it from beginning to end doing it in a big tub i may fill this thing up and do a, a, a batch for you guys i'll see you in the next video